Hi everyone. Today on my test bench I have Tyler's USSC brand 6039 pellet stove controller. This is an older controller that Tyler sent me because he was having a lot of difficulties with it, uh, especially controlling anything with the uh, keypad and the displays, the seven segment displays, both of them were partially defective or not correct. So Tyler sent it to me, like I said, I put it on my bench and I did some troubleshooting to only to find a few issues with it. And uh, I've since repaired all of the issues that I spotted and we're ready to do final testing on it. Uh, I will say one thing that Tyler, I want to thank you for your patience because uh, I had to order some seven segment displays from Taiwan since uh, the manufacturer doesn't make those anymore. They're not available in the U.S. and I had to find some old stock, so I found them out of Taiwan. It took a couple, three weeks for them to get here. So I received them today, installed them, and everything is working as it should. So I have the controller on my tester. It's been on for uh, probably like 10 minutes now, and that's important because I need to be able to um, uh, show that, go through the startup sequence. I've got it connected to my test uh, unit and my test unit is made up of a bunch of light bulbs that simulate the different motors and the heating element on the different or various pellet stove controllers. In this case, because of this type of controller, it does not have a heater element, but it does have a stirring motor and that's what this one reflects, the stirring motor. So you can see the lights on, so the stirring motor would be spinning. I also have the combustion fan, which is marked in blue, and I have the auger marked in yellow. I do have the convection room fan as well, which is not on. Uh, that's part of the, the reason for that is my tester doesn't have that connected for this type of uh, unit. Uh, I do have a little switch here to simulate the over temp and I'll test that later on. We'll see that in action. So right now, uh, we, as we can see, I'm able to cycle through the different uh, values of uh, settings for the heat range and for the blower speed. If I go down to four, let's say I can bring that down to four. I don't want to stay there too long because it'll shut off the system. So I'll, I'll stay up in the eights and nines. Uh, I'm able to switch through the ABCDs. I'm able to use the on and off key. So everything in that sense is functioning. Uh, I talked a little bit about the convection fan not being on in this controller. I do know that the solid state relay does work because I manually tested it and I'm happy with the performance of that. Uh, what I just don't have is how the controller turns it on and off and that according to the manual is related to a temperature sensor that I don't have but it's in the furnace. Uh, so as we can see the auger is cycling on and off. I've got the, uh, the uh, stirring motor cycling on and off as well and the combustion fan is on. The only other thing I'm going to check here is I have an over temp switch right here which simulates the over temp and I just switched it on so that simulates like the stove went into over temperature and notice it shut it off. So when I went to over temperature the auger made the call, when the auger called we went off and we see down here the little light above the number three is blinking. That straight out of the manual is telling us that we had an over temperature issue. So I'm going to remove that over temperature and I'm going to turn it on again and when the auger comes on that'll clear the uh, the fault. So there it is, the auger came on momentarily and the fault cleared. And we're back in our startup cycle where we have to wait a little while for everything to take place. So there we have it Tyler. Um, I've checked out everything on your controller. Everything is now working fine. I'm quite satisfied with the way it runs. Uh, I noted about the convection fan. I don't have the, the tester circuitry for that. But I'm pretty confident that once you get it back in your stove, it will work correctly. So, Tyler, I want to thank you for sending me your controller. I appreciate it very much. Um, if you have any questions along the way, be sure to let me know. I'll try to get them answered. Uh, hopefully, and when you get it back home and in your stove, your stove will function correctly once again. And for all of you f watching this video, if you have a controller of your own that needs to be serviced or repaired, please check the information in the comment section for this video. I have uh, uh, my uh, contact information there and uh, feel free to call or text me. I'd be more than happy to try to answer your questions and if it needs servicing, together we'll work on making that happen. 
Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.